Cloudflare just acquired a startup called Zaras, a tool that they have integrated into their suite of products. And Zaras basically does the same as Google Tag Manager server side tagging. And this is very interesting because they offer it to us for free. If it's any good, if we can use it, what the pros and cons are, let's find out. Let's go over to the screen right here. So here I'm inside of Cloudflare and this is Cloudflare Zaras. It's integrated into all of their suite of products. If you're not familiar what Cloudflare is, Cloudflare is a service that you can put in between your website and um, your server domain and, and your server. So when users visit your website, they don't directly go to the website, but they go through Cloudflare. And this brings a lot of advantages because they have a lot of um, different services that they offer to us. Uh, one is that, for example, DDoS attack um, prevention is built in. So if somebody tries to connect to your website maliciously, they can block that. They um, have, for example, services like SSL that they can provide to you for your website, or they can optimize your website automatically and make it faster. So a lot of people are already using Cloudflare in the web space. I have been using it for many years already. It's my DNS provider. And all I had to do is to go into my domain provider, so where I bought my domain, and point it towards Cloudflare. Cloudflare then takes, um, wh when somebody tries to connect to my domain, they uh, take that, that information, that signal, and then they relay lay it to my server. And everything goes through that, and that's why it's a bit um, faster and also um, has a lot of services protection around this. You can ov obviously also pay for Cloudflare and there's a, they are a very big company and a lot of the internet runs on Cloudflare. So that's why Cloudflare is a big product and that's why it's kind of a big deal. Now they have acquired a startup called Zaras from Israel, which enables you to do cloud loading of third party tools. And this kind of sounds like Google Tag Manager. We can load our third party tools through the service and manage our um, tags and triggers and whatnot um, through a tag management service like Google Tag Manager. Now, Zaras is exactly that startup. It helps us to load these uh, third-party tools onto our website. Now, I have installed this on my website. I have pointed my domain measure.school um, and this website, no, this website right here to uh, Cloudflare so that we have now the ability to install codes onto this site without actually having to install any kind of code. So I have not touched this website. I didn't go into WordPress and configure Zara's for, um, in any matter. I have just simply connected my domain to Cloudflare and now I have this point available down here called Zara's. And inside of this tool, we have third party tools. And when we click on add new tool, we see here, okay, this is kind of familiar to the tags that we have available inside of Google Tag Manager. And we also have triggers. So why not, let, uh, let's just try this out. I'm gonna go to new tool here and I'm going to install Google Analytics on my site. Now, if we go to the site first of all, we see here um, in our tag assistant as well, that we don't have any Google Tag Manager installed. We have Google Tag Manager installed, but there's nothing deployed through this one. So here, um, this is a clean slate website right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and just go here to confirm. And then we set this up. All we need to do, put in is our tracking ID. I have a shortcut here. So this is my tracking ID. We can hide uh, the IP address if we want to, because it's server side tracking. And we save this. And then it should be enabled right here, yep. And when we fire this off, we see still in the tag assistant, nothing is happening, but in our Google Analytics, we should be able to see a page view that just came through. So we are right now on this page and I switched pages just now. So we should have another page view coming in. No, I didn't switch pages. website is kind of not loading. The links don't work. Okay, let me just go to this video page. Um, and here we have another page view. 
So that means we are now on this page. So Google Tag Manager, uh, Google Analytics is completely installed on the page. Although we had, don't have Google Tag Manager, um, the, we didn't install the code or we didn't deploy it through Google Tag Manager here. So Google Analytics is somehow installed. And if we want to look at the network requests that actually are sent over, we can go into the developer tools here and go to network. And here are all the, well, if I reload this page, here are all the network requests. And I'm going to look for Zara's right here. And we, here we have the request that actually sends over Google Analytics, even the client ID and everything um, to the to our server side endpoint, which is also automatically configured, which we see, let me see here in the headers, this is the request URL, and we're sending this over to our domain uh, up here, our demo shop.measure.school, and Zaras has automatically created a virtual path, so to say, that this data is sent over to, and from there it's relayed into Google Analytics apparently. Now, this uh, domain is important because it is first party data. Now, a ad blocker, for example, wouldn't recognize this right away because we are sending data to our first party endpoint to our domain. And from there, it's being relayed into tools like Google Analytics. And we can um, install other tools here as well. So, for example, let's go ahead and add another tool. We have Google Analytics 4 here as well. Um, GA4 demo, I think. Yeah, here we go. We can save this and put this in place as well. Or we can put in our Facebook pixel. Um, the Facebook pixel I have right here. And we'll put this in here as well. Save this. And now we have three tools installed on our website. Apparently, if I reload, we again, we only see one request that actually gets sent over, but all of these tools should now get our data. Now, the problem here a little bit is when I tested this is you don't really have so much control. You cannot go into the test event browser for the Facebook pixel and test your events. It does show up in a second here under your um, events that were tracked today. So data is definitely coming in but it's not quite visible um, in some of the tools. I'm actually not sure if we will be able to see this in Google Analytics 4 as well. Let me see here. The problem is with the debug view, you need to have a cookie that is sent over. So right now I don't have any incoming requests. We may be able to see it inside of our real-time reporting. Yeah, so somebody from Frankfurt is coming through. That might be us. Let me see. Fortunately, we cannot see. Here, we have the demo shop. So this is also us, and we are coming through correctly on this end. We can look at the snapshot maybe. No, it doesn't really give us uh, much information here. But this seems to work. And we have now connected three tools to our website without installing any code on our website, all deployed through Zara's. And it's now sending over data to these different pixels. We can even install um, with the Facebook pixel here, you might have seen this, a conversion API access token, which would make this the easiest way to install conversion API, I think, um, through any kind of given platform because uh, you just need to put in your access token and then that will work as well. Again, it I didn't try this out particularly, but um, we, there's mo much more testing I would need to do. Um, the only thing that I uh, notice is that the test events that you have in your Facebook pixel are not quite visible. So uh, you can, for example, put in a test server event key into this configuration. Everything inside of Zara's seems to be uh, pretty much um, simplified. So you see here, we only have the ability to do pixel ID and conversion API token. Now you might be asking yourself, okay, um, what are the other functions here? So we have 
the function of adding a trigger because we are firing everything on a page view trigger right now. And Zaras actually can fire um, data on different events as well. And you can create a trigger here. Um, for example, let's say we want to fire only on a specific page when the user goes to the checkout here, so uh, to the cart. Um, so on that cart page, I want to fire something. So we can say um, this is on the cart page. And then we need to put in our matching rules and we need a variable name and we need to have our matching condition. Now there are nothing like variables like in Google Tag Manager, but if you go into the documentation, which is very, um, uh, yeah, very small uh, at this point, you can see here that we have these kind of variables available that we could uh, pull from. So for example, if we wanted to find something on the, um, just in the page path, we could look into this variable right here, which returns the path of the URL. We can copy this one and put it into our Zara's matching rule here. And then this needs to contain cart. We save this and now it is a trigger that we can utilize to, for example, fire a, let's go here to Google Analytics again, and let's create an event instead of a um, page view. So here we say cart, cart view, for example, and we want to fire an event. We get these fields, event, action, category, and label. So let's call this cart view and um, save this. Oh, here, up here, we have the trigger. So we go with our cart trigger. We'll save this and let's see if this now works, reload this page and inside of, let's go back here to our demo shop and our real time reporting. And this time we go under events. And here we have our card view that it is only happening when somebody visits the card page. So you have built a tri we have built a trigger here that um, only fires on certain conditions. Obviously you are a lit little bit restricted by the different variables that you have available here. You can create some out of the data layer as well. So it recognizes the data layer. You can utilize the data layer or you can fire certain events on your page by using the events API. So um, if we would like to send over a purchase, we can do this with a event that we can build into, and this is then coding into our system. Uh, when the purchase, for example, happens, we deploy this called zaras.track with purchase and the value and the currency and so on. Um, now this is something I'm not gonna go into uh, too far, but suffice to say, you can be quite, um, send quite more things into the system than what meets the eye from, from the interface right now. You just need to code it in and this is then JavaScript again. In essence, what happens here is that, test, test. Yeah, you can still hear me, but my camera went off, right? Okay, then we'll just go with this screen here. Um, what, what, what you can do in essence is that Zaras still creates in your, in your tracking uh, on your website, it still creates a JavaScript. So JavaScript is running, but it's bundling that all up and sending it then to the server itself. So this um, works and we can kind of try this out in a second as well. Let me see if I can get my camera working again. Apparently it doesn't want to do it. Okay. Um, so far, this is Zara's and you can do a little bit more with it, um, especially that there's also a data layer compatibility available. This is something that um, you might want to look into in order to turn on your different other, uh, other events into the format for Zara's itself. Okay, then I want to switch back and see if my camera still works.
So as you can see, Zaras is quite the interesting tool set, I think, for people who simply want to install code and that server side or um, server side tagging side, so to say, um, very easily in a few clicks without deploying any kind of code. I would even say that it's the easiest way if you just have the requirements to do some basic things like install Google Tag Manager, Google Analytics uh, and the Facebook Pixel on a page and deploy this very fast without having access to the website itself. You can um, then extend this a little bit, but then that's where you get into a bit of a trouble of um, the conveniences that we might be used to Google Tag Manager, like um, building more sophisticated tracking deployments with these kind of tools. Zara's um, is kind of impressive, I would say, uh, because of the ease of use and that it's made available for free in the Cloudflare toolset. I hope it stays for free and I hope they keep on working on the functionality of the tool. The big thing for me is at least that I don't have transparency at this time, um, what is actually happening, how data is sent over, and I can't really control if the, the data flow at itself. I don't know if data has reached Cloudflare and then is um, forwarded onto the tools. There's no kind of, kind of pre preview mode to see data going through. Um, second, I don't quite know um, if the tools, uh, how they react to this. So what Facebook is doing is they're probably not aware of uh, Zara's at this point in time and the, the, the test mode just simply doesn't work. We just don't have the ability to really inject anything into the flow. And therefore, if you want to go deeper into server-side tagging and build your own deployment and take control of your own data flows, then Zaros is probably not the tool for you because it is too simplified and you don't have all the bells and whistles. Google Tag Manager server-side might be the better fit for you and you can uh, check that out as well. And we have done videos on this one as well. All right, this is it from my side on Zara's from Cloudflare. If you wanna tr check it out, we have a link in the description down below. And if you wanna check out um, Google Tag Manager server-side tagging, we have a tutorial right over here. Now, my name is Julian, till next time.